Let's try to solve this one. Joshua wants to withdraw money at BDO. Where point B is located. How many direct routes can Joshua take along the streets? If we try to look at the figure, Joshua wants to travel from point A to point B. And the question is, how many direct routes can Joshua take along the streets? First, we need to mark all the intersections on the map. So let's start from point A. If Joshua wishes to withdraw money at BDO through this way, and that is one route. Now, if he wanted to go through this way here, this is route 2. This is also another route. And also this one here. Then, if Joshua wanted to go downwards, then this is also another route. This one, and also another one. All right. So we already labeled our intersections here for route one. And now, what if Joshua wanted to go through this intersection here? All we have to do is to add the two adjacent routes. So one route plus one route. That will give us two. Now, how about here? We have one route there and two routes here. So it will give us. 3. Next we have 1 root plus 3 roots. So this is 4. And we have 1 root here plus 4 roots there. It will give us 5 roots. We have 2 plus 1 root. So it is 3 and also three roots there, plus three roots here, so we have six. Four plus six, that will give us 10. Then five plus 10, it is 15 roots here. By looking at the pattern, this is four roots, 10 roots, 20 roots, and lastly, we have 35. So, we already arrived at point B, with 35 routes. Therefore, there are 35 routes that Joshua will take him from point A to point B. But, how about if we will try to solve this one using a mathematical formula? Since we are dealing with counting of the total number of direct routes, so we will use the combination formula for counting and probability. So we have here, n taken r equals n factorial over r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. But before that, let's put four cardinal directions on the map. This letter n here will be our total number of blocks going to point B. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3 blocks going to south, and 4 blocks going to east. So our n is 7. To summarize, one direct route is equivalent to 4 blocks going to east, and 3 blocks going to south. So, to find r, just select one from these two either four blocks or three blocks, it will give us the same answer. Note that, wherever you go on the map, it will always give three blocks of south and four blocks of east, considering that you are from point A to point B. Let's try R is equal to three. Seven factorial over three factorial times the quantity. 7 minus 3 factorial. So this is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Over 3 factorial, then 7 minus 3 is 4 factorial. Cancel out 4 factorial. So we have 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 times 2 times 1. 
This is 210 over 6. So, 210 divided by 6 is equal to 35. We can say that our answer using the manual counting is correct. So, the total number of direct routes is 35. If you find it helpful, then leave us a like. And also if you're new to Nomo Studio, subscribe to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Don't forget to check our playlist for more videos. Stay connected fellas. Bye for now.